While many people try to emulate the style of the Kardashian family, sometimes they struggle to find inspiration as well. Just because they're famous doesn't mean they can't have fun and enjoy dressing up as some of their favorite characters. We'll show you some of the best costumes the Kardashians have ever worn. Before we begin, make sure to hit the subscribe button for more videos from The Taco. If you're interested in making your own costumes and other awesome crafts, be sure to check out our friends over at Crafty Hackers. Now let's start looking at some great Kardashian costumes. Christina Aguilera when Christina Aguilera first started out as a pop star, she had a sort of innocent appeal. She would at most bear some of her belly button and send out some flirtatious glances. But when her music video for the song Dirty came out, we were all blown away. Not only did it represent her growing into an adult, but it was clear she was shaking off all the expectations of her audience. To this day, it remains her favorite music video, and apparently Kylie Jenner is a fan as well. In 2016, Kylie started out the Halloween festivities by hosting a dinner with some friends, including her now ex-boyfriend Tyga. She wore some great skeleton makeup, but was apparently saving her best costume for Halloween night. She dressed up just like Christina Aguilera did in the famous 2002 music video for Dirty. Not only did Kylie make an excellent Christina, but we have to applaud her accuracy when it comes to her costume. Not only is the costume a dead ringer for the one in the music video, but Kylie's makeup is on point as well. When she shared the photos on social media, she wistfully asked if she could be Christina forever. We don't know about forever, but she definitely pulled it off here. Game of Thrones Remember a simpler time before the cheating scandal that rocked Khloe Kardashian and Tristan Thompson? Back then, we could simply enjoy their great couple's Halloween costume without narrowing our eyes at Tristan. But let's just focus on Halloween here. Just like almost everyone else on the planet, the Kardashians watch Game of Thrones. When Khloe decided to pick a character to portray, she apparently decided to go big or go home. She dressed up as none other than the mother of dragons herself, Daenerys Targaryen. On the show, Daenerys is played by actress Amelia Clark, and at one point in the storyline found herself with child. This is important because at the time, we were just hearing that Chloe was pregnant with her baby, True. Many believe this Halloween costume was further confirmation that Chloe was expecting. And of course, she had her partner Tristan Thompson by her side dressed as Cal Drogo, who is portrayed by Jason Momoa. Now we love Game of Thrones and we love Chloe's costume. That being said, Tristan's Cal Drogo totally blew hers out of the water. We love the costumes and the subtle pregnancy reference is just sneaky enough to add to the vibe this Halloween. Storm Fans of Keeping Up With The Kardashians know that sometimes Khloe has trouble keeping up with the rest of her siblings. Her family members love going over the top with costumes for special occasions, which makes this Halloween fail even funnier. One year for Halloween, Khloe decided to dress up as the character Storm from the X-Men franchise. While Storm is a great character, Khloe's costume was widely regarded as a flop. Some people even asked if she was doing a Game of Thrones theme again and dressing as a White Walker. At least her revenge body looked great in the vinyl costume, which is pretty much the only positive thing we can say about it. To make matters worse, we had a strong precedent of celebs dressing up as Storm to compare Chloe's costume to. You want to avoid going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Beyonce, even if it comes to something as simple as a Halloween costume. When Beyonce dressed up as Storm, fans couldn't get enough of her awesome costume. She was attending fellow singer Sierra's 30th birthday party and decided to go all out when it came to dressing up. Sorry, Chloe, we definitely have to say that Beyonce wore this one better. Cher you might not know that Kim Kardashian is a huge fan of Cher. According to Kim, Cher is a major fashion icon for her, which might explain why she's dressed up as her so many times. She's even thrown on some Cher-inspired clothes for a quick Instagram photo shoot. Even Cher loved it when it was posted on social media. Encouraged by the positive feedback from her idol, Kim decided to commit to her Cher costumes. Kim makes her best friend Jonathan Chaban do a lot for her, and that includes doing couples Halloween costumes. In 2017, the pair dressed up as Sunny and Cher together, and we have to say they did a fantastic job. Kim's husband Kanye West does a lot for her, but apparently that doesn't include dressing up as Sonny Bono for Halloween. Kim Kardashian also got the opportunity to see her idol in person when she attended her Las Vegas show. She decided to go all out and dress up as Cher when seeing the concert. Some people might be satisfied just buying a Cher t-shirt, but Kim Kardashian just has to be a little bit extra. The Jenners matriarch Kris Jenner often claims that her daughters look just like her. At times, they've decided to prove this by dressing up as their mother. Apparently, all of her kids are just a short haircut away from turning into Kris Jenner. Kim Kardashian once shared a photo of herself on Instagram sporting a different but familiar haircut. She captioned the photo Kris Jenner vibes, and we can definitely see the family resemblance here. Her sister, Courtney, definitely wins the prize for best Kris Jenner impersonator. Quite some time ago, Courtney and then-partner Scott Disick heard some rumors about Kris and Bruce Jenner. They heard a tape exist showing some intimate moments between the couple. While most of us immediately tried to rid our brains of this knowledge, Courtney and Scott decided to dress up as Chris and Bruce Jenner and try to reenact the video. Their costumes were pretty intense and involved wigs, makeup, and a ton of denim. But the end result was so convincing that even the subjects of the tape were fooled. 
Although this is the sort of accomplishment that is pretty hard to celebrate, Aaliyah. Sometimes it can be hard to decide which Halloween costume you want to wear. After all, most of us only wear one per year, but the Kardashians often wear several. She dressed up as the late Aaliyah for her first Halloween costume. Her look was straight from Aaliyah's 2000 music video, Try Again, complete with a studded bikini top and matching choker. Although it was an accurate costume, some found it offensive. They believed that it was wrong of Kim to dress up as a woman of color and declared the costume to be in bad taste. According to Kim, she was trying to think of music legends when putting together her array of costumes, and Aaliyah was one who immediately came to mind. She claimed that rather than dressing up as someone of another race, she saw herself as dressing up as a woman she admired. Kim apologized if anyone was offended by her costume, but added, she and her family believe in paying homage to respected artists. Madonna and Michael We have to say, Kim and Kourtney Kardashian might have deserved to win Best Couples Costume in 2017. As part of Kim's whirlwind of celebrity outfits, she decided to pay homage to the Queen of Pop, superstar Madonna. And where would the Queen of Pop be without the King? Kourtney dressed up as Michael Jackson and did an absolutely amazing job. Both sisters channeled Madonna and MJ's looks from the 1991 Academy Awards. Kim wore a silvery beaded dress and accessorized with a white fur stole, sparkling necklace, and a blonde wig. Kourtney outdid her Herself with curled hair, black gloves, and a white blazer. The 1991 awards was the year that Madonna's hit song, Sooner or Later, was nominated for an award. These costumes are over-the-top fantastic, but thankfully, Kim and Courtney had even more fun surprises in store for us. The two sisters tried to recreate some of their costumes source music and film themselves singing and dancing. Although Kim and Courtney probably aren't going to be nominated for a Grammy anytime soon, scary. For the most part, the members of the Kardashian family seem to enjoy costumes which are lighthearted or glamorous. But sometimes, Kylie Jenner enjoys breaking the mold a little bit. After all, what's Halloween without a scary costume? Back when she was dating Tyga, she decided to go for a frightening theme when it came to their couple's costume. Tyga dressed up as a classic horror movie character, Chucky, who terrified us in the Child's Play franchise. Kylie dressed up as Chucky's partner, Tiffany, who we first met in the movie, Bride of Chucky. We love that these costumes are simple, especially when compared to some of the other over-the-top costumes celebs usually wear. If you're looking for some Kardashian costume inspiration, this is a great option to use on your own Halloween. This isn't the first time we've seen Kylie dress up in an eerie costume. She once shared this moody shot of herself dressed up as Wednesday Addams. When the Kardashian family decides to go scary, they seem to default to skeleton costumes for whatever reason. So even though these costumes Kylie is wearing are pretty simple, at least she didn't dress up as a skeleton yet again. Karl Lagerfeld since she has a successful career as a model, Kendall Jenner has a lot of experience wearing designer clothes. This makes her epic Halloween costume that much more amusing. One year, she decided to dress up as noted fashion designer Karl Lagerfeld. Even if you don't recognize his distinctive face, you're probably familiar with his work, since he's the head creative director of Chanel. Of course, that's in addition to his work for Fendi and his own fashion label. When choosing a Halloween costume, some people choose to go for sexy, while others try to go for scary. Kendall clearly opted to go for the former category when she put together her Karl Lagerfeld costume. And where would Karl Lagerfeld be without his beloved cat, Choupette? A celebrity loving their pet isn't exactly news, but Lagerfeld goes a little bit above and beyond. He's even stated that if it was legal, he wouldn't be opposed to marrying Choupette. So Kendall got a friend of hers to portray a humanized version of Lagerfeld's beloved pet. Josh Duhamel and Fergie had the same idea, although their execution was a bit different. Be sure to tell us in the comments section who you think wore it better. Anna Wintour Kim Kardashian's relationship with Vogue editor Anna Wintour has always been complicated at best. For ages, we heard rumors about how Wintour despised not just Kim Kardashian, but her entire family. It was bad enough that despite their fame, they weren't welcomed at the prestigious Met Gala. But that changed when Kim Kardashian hooked up with Kanye West, who had a connection with Wintour. Although Kim was now welcome on the red carpet of the Met Gala, Wintour still wasn't a fan. This adds another level of hilarity to the fact that Kim decided to dress up as Anna Wintour one year for Halloween. Was she trying to get into her good graces by flattering her with imitation? We aren't sure, but she did do an excellent job on the costume. And to make it even better, she got her friend Joyce Bonelli to dress up as Grace Coddington, the creative director of Vogue. Bonelli's son Zeppelin is dressed up as fashion designer Karl Lagerfeld, and Northwest is dressed as former Vogue editor Andre Leontali. We love a good group costume, especially one which involves such cute kids. Although we were definitely left wondering how Anna Wintour felt about the whole thing. If you're up to date with the latest Kardashian news, take some time to visit our friends over at Crafty Hackers. If you're often left wondering why when you attempt DIY, they can definitely help you out. Instead of pinning crafts on your Pinterest board, get some great ideas for things you can really make. Which one of these Kardashian caliber Halloween costumes was your favorite? Let us know in the comments section and then hit the subscribe button to get more videos from the taco. Thanks for watching us and we'll see you again next time.